Planet Dolan. What animals have learned to use the subway and obey traffic signals? What animals showed a rapid, mass evolution over the course of just 15 years? Usually, evolution takes millions of years, but here are 10 ways creatures are evolving right now, before our very eyes. I'm Melissa, and today, I'll be your narrator. Number 10. Subway Dogs The subway system of a major city is difficult enough to navigate for humans. Like, even if you're still looking at the map, and a dozen people have already told you how to do it, it's still confusing. But the stray dogs of Moscow have figured it out. They get on and off at specific stops, catch a nap on the ride, and even hop off and use the seats if there's room. They're also known to obey traffic laws when above ground, crossing at crosswalks and only when the light turns. Number 9. Blind Cave Creatures For a creature to evolve into not having eyes seems like more of a de-evolution than anything. Isn't losing your eyes moving in the wrong direction? Well, most of these creatures can't really see much anyway, living in total, complete darkness of a deep cave. And food is scarce as well, so energy is at a premium. So, since they weren't using their eyes anyway, they just stopped developing them. By doing this, they conserve 15% more energy by not needing to use their brain power and vision. In fact, several cave dwellers are evolving to the point where they are developing brains without any vision centers at all. Number 8. Tuskless Elephants Elephants originally developed tusks to help them fight off predators. That was then. Now, elephants' most deadly predator are humans, and tusks don't help them fight off human predators, they draw them. Poaching has become such a serious problem that it has actually changed the gene pool for elephants. Previously, around 2-6% to of African elephants were born tuskless. Now, it's closer to 98%, as elephants born with tusks are frequently poached for ivory. In the past decade, about one-third of Africa's elephants have been killed for their tusks. The ones that are left get to live long enough to breed, and that always includes the tuskless ones. Number 7. Toxin-Resistant Cavefish The indigenous Zoc people of Mexico have had a ritual in which they travel into a dark, sulfuric cave to ask the gods for a good rainy season and good harvest. Part of the ceremony involves purring a herbal paste into the water that is toxic to the cavefish, which, incidentally, are one of those previously mentioned creatures that evolved to lose their eyes. The practice was eventually banned by the Mexican government over ecological concerns, but ecologists have decided to study the long-term effect of the ritual on the fish, and found that over time, the fish had evolved to become resistant to the paste. Number 6. Poison Immune Mice Some European house mice, particularly those from Germany and Spain, have evolved into being poison resistant, but it wasn't something that happened through natural selection over time. Instead, they inbred with an Algerian species of mouse that they had been separated from for over a thousand years. This led to a rare gene transfer, usually seen only in plants or bacteria. The crossbred mice are resistant to poison and not sterile, like many crossbred animals. Number 5. Flowers with a Bird Purge the rat's tail is a type of flowering plant native to South Africa that relies primarily on birds for pollination. And because they rely on birds for pollination, they evolved in a very specific way. Unlike most flowers, the rat's tail grows a flower at the base and has a long, branchless stem growing above it. Birds perch on the stem, hang upside down, and reach down into the flower at the base of the plant to drink its nectar. Scientists now believe that this was an intentional evolution and that the stem was grown specifically to be a bird perch. Number 4. Tawny Oil Color Change Tawny oils come in two different colors, a light gray and a reddish brown. The northern European birds generally have adopted those two colors for camouflage. The brown ones blend in better with trees. The gray ones blend in with ice and snow. As a result, gray owls are far more common in northern Europe, especially Finland, where it tends to snow more. But over the past 50 years, there has been a steady increase in the brown-colored tawny owls. As the climate warms and winters become milder, the brown coloration is more advantageous, and more owls of that color are surviving and breeding. Number 3. Climbing Lizards One of the most stunning recent examples of a species' rapid evolution has happened in the green anoles, a small lizard native to Florida. The brown anole, a closely related relative, is an invasive species native to Cuba but they are bigger and stronger than the green anole, and quickly dominated the ground. As a result, the green anole has no choice but to climb up and live in the bushes and branches, where their larger cousins couldn't get to them. This has led to an incredible rate of evolution. In just 15 years, the green anole has developed much larger toe pads with stickier grips to better adapt to living higher up in trees. 
the rate of change would be equal to the average human height increasing from 5 feet 9 inches to 6 feet 4 inches in a matter of 20 generations. Number 2. Chemical Immunity in Fish The Hudson River is not the friendliest ecosystem. For decades, General Electric dumped over a million pounds of toxic chemicals into the river before environmental regulations came into play in the 1970s and finally told them to stop poisoning the river. But the chemicals, known as PCBs, are still there, resting on the river bottom. And they're very harmful to the Atlantic tomcod, one of the river's most plentiful native fish. The chemical exposure should have wiped out the tomcod, but instead, it actually mutated their DNA to blunt the toxic effects of the chemicals. That's good for the tomcod, but bad for the larger fish that feed on them, not knowing that they're about to chow down on a toxic fish. Number 1. Bed bugs that won't die. If you see a bed bug, the first thing you need to do is kill the bed bug, and then make sure you kill its entire family. That usually involves sprays and bug bombs made to poison the little pest to death. But in New York City, those tricks aren't working anymore. They're building up a resistance to two common chemicals, one used by exterminators, the other found in sprays and insecticides commonly found in stores. The poison still kills them, for now. It just takes an awful lot more than it used to. Over time, maybe it will even make them stronger. Dun dun dun! This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys. Thanks for watching! Catch you guys next time.